Hey guys, welcome back to the hillside and entering into the pepper jungle. Let's, uh, let's talk about some peppers today. Some things going on, some interesting, some uh, two big random things happened this year. But that's alright, so let's go ahead and get started. These are my ghost peppers. And no, this is not Photoshop, this is not enhanced in any way. This is real, this is organic, this is no chemical added, no till, gardening at its best. And looking down here, some people are probably going to have the panic attack, like I mentioned before. Uh, yeah, I cut this down every now and then, but, you know, I let the grass grow and the weeds. It's not a big deal. Honestly, I mean, the plants aren't going to really, aren't really concerned with this at all. Now, getting down here close to the peppers, you can see down here, there are borders to the bed here. And it goes up underneath, you know, nice composted soil, um, tons of organic matter, hay mulch, uh, old old hay bales I use as condition for uh, for mulch and everything like that. This is all organic. This is what's possible when you do uh, these practices. You don't have to use chemicals and all this junk to get massive produce and massive production from your peppers. Now maybe on a large scale it may seem a bit impractical and that's why I say if you're going to start a small garden, expand it slowly because if you expand too quickly you're going to be tempted to take shortcuts. So that's just my uh, my soapbox for today. But you know, looking ahead, star of today's show, these are orange ghost peppers. Pretty awesome, right? Orange boot jalokias. Only thing is, um, yeah, they're supposed to be red. There's another one here. So I saved my seeds from last year, and uh, lo and behold, this one plant turned out to have orange pods. So. Is there anything you can do to make your plants change colors? Absolutely not. Uh, this is just a recessive, uh, recessive trait, or recessive gene that's held by the pepper. Uh, red being the most dominant in almost all pepper forms. Um, anyways, this must have had an, an orange recessive gene somewhere along the line. Uh, they were grown and isolated in this row, uh, same spot as last year. You know, no uh, crop rotation. These plants are doing fine with the addition of compost and these uh, no-till principles, I think, you know, crop rotation is really unnecessary in the small setting like this anyways. But uh, going on from that, so they didn't crossbreed with anything else, but this one just came out orange. So um, when that happens, it's not going to be just one pod on your pepper plant will be orange. Every single one on the pepper plant will be orange. Like these guys even down in there, this little branch on the main plant had that same orange characteristic. Uh, in contrast, looking over here to this one, this bright red, yeah, they all look just like that last year. So this one plant has thrown off some orange pods. So, you know, uh, definitely save the seeds from it, isolate it, kind of grow it out. Maybe it'll come back orange next year. Maybe not. I had some uh, Trinidad scorpion marugas one time that were uh, red. I planted the seeds next year. One of the plants turned yellow. Save the seeds from that, hoping that they would stay yellow. They came back. And we're red just like the other ones. So I don't know. Just caught a, a really weird genetic fluke right there. But anyways, that's something you can look out for in your pepper plants, you know. Especially if you're growing or buying seeds from, you know, non-reputable sources. You may get a crossbred pepper plant that they're trying to sell off of something. And you're just going to have to deal with the results because you have no idea what genetics you're planting in your ground. Now with me, uh, where I've started turning to more of the commercial production for these ghost peppers that are actually being... Um, used to make ghost pepper salt and uh, ghost pepper herb blends for my local uh, company uh, locally to me. So I need to make sure what I keep is pure and that uh, what I'm providing them is a consistent product. So this orange plant, I'm not going to give to them. Obviously, they want the red uh, dried ghost pepper. I will keep this on my own uh, separate, keep this uh, separated out and, uh, you know, go from there. So is it too late to think about this plant crossbreeding with another plant and causing some other hybrids, etc.? I mean, we're going to go with what we got, but if you have enough plants, um, if you come down to that, you can always remove a plant, uh, isolate it, or if you really have to, just take it out altogether and just move it if you really need to. So let me show you something else in the other uh, upstairs in the uh, pallet garden, show you another really weird pepper anomaly that I stumbled upon yesterday while I was picking some peppers. Let's go check that out right now. All right, guys, so back up here in the pallet garden. What you see in front of you is pretty recognizable. This is an orange bell pepper. Okay, what's the big deal? All right, let me show you. This, I can't even explain it. Purple bell pepper. 
orange bell pepper, same plant. I was digging around, I saw the two different colors, because I did plant orange bells, and I planted purple bells, and I thought I was going crazy, and I thought, you know, maybe this is a two separate plants that are just grown too close together. No, it's one plant has an orange and one plant has a purple. And it's not a matter of letting the purple stays on the plant long enough that it turns to orange or vice versa. I have absolutely no idea how this has happened. I've never seen this happen before. Now, like the ghost pepper I just showed you, every single pod on that plant was orange uh, for the one for the phenotype that kicked out orange instead of red pods. Um, so like I was saying, they should all be the same color. This one, two different color uh, bell peppers on one plant. So I have no idea how this happened. I have no idea why this is happening. It's never happened to me before. So if you've ever experienced something crazy like this, you know, let me know. It's be, uh, maybe I'm not going so crazy. This happens to other people, but that's just nuts. But anyhow, I'm gonna get a closer look. If I don't fall down. That dark purple color on this bell pepper is just amazing. And by the way, these peppers here are extremely sweet, delicious. If you've ever grown the, uh, this I believe is a lilac bell. That's what I thought I was planting, but also has orange peppers on it too. So who knows what's going on with that. But while I got you here, kind of zoom over here. I'm so excited. They're finally, where is he at? Right there on that pepper, if I can find him. Ah, there he is. See that little frog? Now that's a sign of a healthy ecosystem. Got amphibians in your uh, in your system, you're doing fine. You means you have organic matter, you have a balanced ecosystem, you're not poisoning your land or your water with poisons, aka chemicals, you're doing it organically. This is an awesome thing. Little guy right there. All right, buddy, you go about your day. Moving on here, it's a weird guy talking about peppers, but check out these little sweet, orange crunch peppers this plant is absolutely loaded just blowing up finally so it took forever to start ripening now that it's ripening it's just every day it's just flowering and flowering and more and more pods growing left and right so there you go guys just a quick little anomaly in the pepper garden uh, let me know uh, drop some comments down below if you've ever seen some weird stuff going on in your garden something you can't explain or just some weird stuff you want to talk about peppers so guys, uh, thanks for watching. As always, please subscribe, give some thumbs up, some uh, comments down below would be much appreciated. And you know what? We're gonna zoom out on this little dude right here. Where'd he go? Oh, come on, little guy. Where are you? There he is. How cool is that? All right, guys, this is Dave from the Hillside Garden. I'll leave you with this little frog as a going away present. We'll catch you next time here on the Hillside, talking peppers, and uh, maybe make a new friends. All right, guys. Bye-bye.